So today was about a creative way, a fun way of bringing together decision makers, policy makers, young people, people with disabilities impacted by climate policy who want to engage with the council on how to improve climate and sustainability related policies. And so we were using a process called legislative theater. The young people will come up with a play and then through that play they will share their own experiences. So some experiences might not be so positive, so at the end we ask the audience, how do we change it? What's important is hearing directly from young people about their experience. And even though we might know the challenges and the issues that people face on a day-to-day -day basis, actually hearing that and seeing it acted out, I think that was really important. It's about the policy ideas and the outcomes and the action, but it's also about a different way of bringing people together who are usually on different sides of the table. Young people do have a voice and a place in decision making. Getting our voices heard today was really great and getting that feeling like I can make changes. Like this is so infuriating and it happens all the time. Like people want us to engage and want our opinions. Like we're professionals in our experience. But when it comes to engaging, they might just not listen or take more of what we're saying. We've learned how to really identify problems in the community, how to bring those problems up to a certain person, and how to come up with a solution for the whole community. We had to make a bridge between, obviously, the policymakers and us. We're coming from two different experiences, and we just wanted to collect those together and basically make something beautiful, which we are. Well, I think they engaged quite well. They identified problems. They identified with those problems. They'd face some of their problems. Look, I don't make the rules. I just enforce them, you know, COVID. Don't want to break any rules. Don't want to get fired. Those are my job. Well, I'll just pay. Can I get on the bus then, please? Are we in charge? What is yours? What do you mean? What's on your phone? The next bus is 10 minutes. Can you wait in there? All right, okay. Right. And I really love the audience's improvisations. The first one was from someone who has a high level position in sustainability in the council. And he was thinking about how do we help bus drivers? And that improvisation is really important in what we did today. For residents to see council staff engaging in that way is really helpful for future relationship building. Our job now is to follow up in a month. So there's kind of a broader level of accountability. What will be important is taking the conversation we've been part of today forward, maybe changing the way we do things. It's an ongoing conversation conversation with young people and with communities across the city, not just on our terms. The best way to have real accountability in this process is to really have it be an ongoing process. Them being here, being able to recognize these issues just gives me hope for a better Glasgow.